Are you looking for a Scrum Master job? If so, then you are in the right place. Agile Core Community is the only place that is a one-stop resource for you to help you land your first Scrum Master job. Not only can you watch our videos and learn from our videos and all the unlimited resources that this community gives you, you can also join our free WhatsApp group from the link down below in the description of every video. Not only that, you can even join our mentorship programs in which we place you on a live project where you learn on hand job skills. If you don't have any experience, this is the best place to learn how to become a scrum master with a live on project. And you can share that in your resume as well. If you're a, if you're a person who's looking for a scrum master job and you don't have any experience, get in touch with me, join our mentorship program and you will learn live on an actual project by being an actual scrim master. Nobody does that. Nobody can do that for you. I'm the only person that can help you land your first scrum master job. Not only that, if you're looking for a safe certification, join our community and I'll also help you get your safe certification. There is extra charges for that, but you can get your safe certification also through the agile core community. This community, this resource is your only solution. If you don't have any experience and you're looking for a scrum master job, this is your only place. I'm the only person that can help you. Thank you so much for watching. Now back to the video. What is going on guys and girls? Welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss five best books for scrum masters. If you are a new scrum master, if you are a person who is aspiring to be a scrum master, I got this question in my email and I thought of making this uh, into a video. So five best books for Scrum Masters. What are the five best books for a Scrum Master, a person who is trying to become a Scrum Master, a person who is starting out on his career? What are the five best books that you can read to become a Scrum Master? Now, before we get started into the five best books, uh, let me uh, uh, start by saying that why is reading important for a person who is aspiring to become a Scrum Master or a person who is a new Scrum Master? What does reading do for you? What reading does for you is it helps make your thoughts clear, it makes your language precise, and it makes you smarter in general, right? That's what reading does for you. If you are a person who is not from this country, is from a different country, and you have an accent, and you don't have, you have an English problem, you have a speaking problem, you can't articulate your thoughts properly during the interviews, you stammer, you have a nervousness problem, reading is the best solution to all those problems. Reading, reading, reading. Reading will make your thoughts more articulate, make you a precise thinker, not only reading, when you read or start writing things that you learn, that will make you such a powerful person and a powerful communicator in general, that will make you, that will help you a lot in becoming a great scrum master as well as in helping you land a job faster because the way you will be able to articulate things and explain things to the other person because you have been reading so much and you have been gaining knowledge so much and you have been reading the language, how things are explained, you will start explaining things that way. So reading is a very powerful tool for anyone who's trying to become a scrum master or a person who is aspiring to become a scrum master who is already working as a scrum master. Now, I will give you five books that have helped me when I was starting out uh, to become uh, to get to try to get a job as a scrum master. When I was starting out, these were the five books that I used to read. I used to read a lot more books. I, I have a big I have a big library in my house. I read a lot every day before going to bed. I have a habit of reading and uh, you know, so I, I read a lot and I have a library upstairs in my bedroom as well. I read a lot and it helps me. It has helped with my English. It has helped with my communication skills. It has helped me articulate and uh, explain my thoughts in a very, very refined and particular way. The way I want to, the way I'm thinking, the way I want to explain it. Th that's the way it comes out of my mouth. So reading has helped me a lot. And anybody who's aspiring or who is a new person who's, who wants to become a Scrum Master, reading is a very powerful thing that you can implement in your life. A one page a day, two pages a day, and that can help you a lot as well in your interviews, as well as in your job if you're already working. Now, the five best books if you're a person trying to become a Scrum Master, right? One of the first books, the first book that I would recommend for anybody who is trying to become a Scrum Master is The Scrum Field Guide by Mitch Lacey. The Scrum Field Guide, practical advice for your first year. Now, why do I recommend this book, The Scrum Field Guide? Why do I recommend this book, The Scrum Field Guide by Mitch Lacey? The Scrum Field Guide by Mitch Lacey. Why do I recommend this book? I recommend this book because it's a practical advice for Scrum Master's first year as a Scrum Master. So it will give you a lot of practical experience and a lot of examples that are based in practical experience. A lot of scenarios. If you are someone who is preparing for an interview, you can get a lot of scenarios just from this reading this book that you can implement in your interview. So very powerful real life examples 
are given in this book and that helped me a lot in cracking my first interview. I actually took some scenarios from this book and I even teach it to my students in my mentorship group. Some of the scenarios from this group because they're so powerful and they're so ingrained in reality. So this, that's what this book did for me. The Scrum Field Guide, Practical Advice for Your First Year by Mitch Lacey. It's a very powerful book and if you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. If you're preparing for an interview, going for an interview, read this book before you go for your interview. Or if you are someone who's preparing for your first year or preparing for your first job, then go read this book. It will help you so much, okay? That's the first book that I read. The second book that I recommend for anybody who's trying to become a Scrum Master is Scrum Insight for Practitioner by Hiren Doshi. Scrum Insight for Practitioner by Hiren Doshi. Now, this is basically a book if you are working as a scrum master or if you are someone who is learning about becoming a scrum master this book will basically give you insights that you can implement in your role or that you can implement in your learning of becoming a scrum master and become make you a more powerful scrum master this will give you tools and tricks this is a very thin book so you can read it probably in a day or two but this book will give you so much knowledge about how to uh, you know uh, implement insights with management with teams and different things like that so this is a very powerful book as well it's uh, short and sweet and it'll give you a lot of ceremonies a lot of knowledge about the ceremonies how to conduct them properly and things like that so this book is very powerful as well uh, by scrum insight for practitioners by hiren doshi scrum insight for practitioner by hiren doshi so these are the two books that I would recommend for anybody who is trying to find a job as a Scrum Master, who is already working as a Scrum Master, or someone who is trying to interview for a Scrum Master role. These two books will help you out a lot. Now, moving on to the third book in this uh, in this uh, in this uh, suggestion list, the third book that I read read is that it's called Agile Project Management for Dummies. Agile Project Management for Dummies. The reason I recommend this book is. Agile Project Management for Dummies. The reason I recommend this book is because uh, as a Scrum Master, there are a lot of roles nowadays, especially in this market where, you know, uh, you are required to do things, you are required to have skills of a project manager, and this book will help you out with those skills. Some of those skills can be related to capacity management, can be related to budget tracking, can be related to, you know, budget management and things like that. So those are the things that you can learn from this book. So Agile Project Management for Dummies is also a very powerful book that you should implement in your learning plan when you are interviewing or when you're trying to become a scrum master, it will teach you some of the skills related to project management, related to agile project management that you won't be able to find anywhere else. So this book is also comes highly recommended, Agile Project Management. Make sure you read this book before you sit for any interview. So one thing, is, so out of these three books, now we'll go over some other books as well. We have some other books over here. So we'll go over those as well. But if you were to only read, if you have an interview next week, and if you were to only read one book, which book would I recommend? That's the question, right? The Scrum Field Guide. The Scrum Field Guide. This is a very powerful book, guys. This is a very powerful book for anybody who is trying to become a Scrum Master, especially or anybody who's already working as a Scrum Master. This is a very powerful book. So I highly recommend reading uh, the Scrum Field Guide. What's going on with my freaking device? Hold on. The Scrum Field Guide, it's a very powerful book, guys. Now, the second thing, the, the, the fourth book on this list, it's not related to Scrum, but I highly recommend for anybody who's trying to become a Scrum Master is Managing Up, Managing Up, forward by Jack Welch, written by uh, Rosane Badowski. Managing Up. Now, what this book will teach you, this book will teach you how to manage stakeholders and how to manage your managers. Now, managing managers and managing people above you is a skill that's, very rare to find because people have generally very pro very many problems with people who are above them or people who are managers and things like that so managing up will teach you skills will teach you uh, the mindset that the managers have so that you will be able to uh, manage your managers and kind of deal with your managers and kind of uh, you know uh, deal with stakeholders and kind of deal with people who are kind of uh, you have to work with and you have to report to whether it is a release train engineer program manager whether it is your technical manager whether it is your director whoever it is right that book will teach you so much about that and it's written by jack welch jack welch is a very uh, famous person go ahead and research on him and then rosen budowski so jack welch is a very famous leader and Rosen Budowski. So go ahead and research on him. He brought out a company from uh, one of the companies, one of the main American companies out of very hard times. So go ahead and research on that and you will learn more about it. Now, the next book on this list is super important. This book I have read almost 19 times now. And I every time I read it again, I learn something new. And I'm going to share that book with you guys now. So this book is not related to Scrum, but it's a very special book because this book will teach you all the skills that will make you successful as a Scrum Master. 
Apart from the ceremonies and the frameworks and the technical things that are related to a scrum role, this book will teach you so much. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. You know, one of the things I remember is that you know, Warren Buffett, uh, one time he said that uh, when he was starting out in his career, he had uh, like a little bit of money. I think he had uh, only a thousand bucks or something. And he spent that thousand dollars to take the Dale Carnegie's communication class. And that helped him out so much. And that's the that's the message that I want to give you. If Warren Buffett sees value in something, in investing in himself to become make himself better, why shouldn't you? So invest in yourself, make yourself better. Read this book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. This will help you out a lot. Help you out a lot if you're starting out in your career as a scrum master and you have challenges with building relationships or you don't know the tech world that well. It will help you out a lot and teach you how to build good relationships, long-lasting relationships, good strong uh, relationships, both with your management as well as people who work with you, your peers. Now, one more book that I recommend that for people who are kind of, you know, starting out in their journey or people who are already Scrum Masters is Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Goldman. Emotional Intelligence. This book is one of my favorites. I've only read it once, but it's one of my favorite because this book will teach you how to be emotionally intelligent. Emotional intelligence is a skill that's very rare nowadays. It's very hard to find, and but it's an important skill nonetheless. Why it's important? Because having a sense of what's going on in a particular meeting, having a sense of the emotional intelligence to understand how people are reacting and how what people are thinking and how people are behaving, especially in this remote world, it becomes super critical to have this skill. So, Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Goldman is a very powerful book that you should read if you're starting out in your career as a Scrum Master or if you're already working as a Scrum Master. The last but not the least. Now, I said five books. I'll give you an additional uh, thing that I think is very, very important for anybody who's starting out. Now, before we go ahead, most important book, The Scrum Field Guide. The most important book if you're preparing for an interview, if you're preparing for a Scrum Master job, you will get scenarios from this book. You will get things from this book that you will thank me. This book is worth a million dollars. The Scrum Field Guide, if you're looking for a Scrum Master job, this book is worth a million dollars, okay? And you will thank me for this once you read it. The second book is, especially if you're preparing for an interview, Scrum Insights for Practitioners, okay? This book will help you if you're on the job or if you're someone who is looking for a job. This book will give you an idea of how the real world works. And the most important thing that you will get from this, these, these books is terminology. So, when you are you know interviewing the main thing you need to focus on is your terminology right when you're working the main thing you focus on is your language and your terminology that's what these books will give you the language the terminology the know-how of how things work and how to speak and how to you know influence <laughs>